among the final verses in the Quran that was revealed most likely but not definitely but among the last verses is this one اليوم أكملت لكم دينكم وأتممت عليكم نعمتي ورضيت لكم الإسلام دينا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said Today I have completed your religion for you and I have bestowed the completeness of my blessings upon you and I am pleased with Islam as your way of life your religion such beautiful verses Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose Islam for us as a way of life. Not only that, Allah told us that He completed His blessing upon us, meaning through this way of life, Islam, every blessing will come your way from Allah. And that blessing is the blessing which Allah created the whole world to submit under, meaning the way of life of Islam is so natural that it fits with every other creation and the laws which Allah created this universe to be governed by. Okay, this is a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which means that when you follow Islam, the blessing of it is absolute guidance in three ways. In three ways. Spiritually, inside your soul. Mentally, in your mind, and physically, the blessings of Islam cater for all these three areas. And Allah says, I am pleased with Islam as your way of life. This means that as the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was revealing Islam to us through his actions and words, it was not complete until the end of his life. So when we look at Islam, we have to look at the entire life of the Prophet We can't take just parts of it and leave other parts. Otherwise, the blessing will not be fully there. Allah is pleased with all of Islam for us, which also means that if you take part of Islam and leave part of it out, you're not going to feel that happiness. You're not going to feel that gift, part of the gift. So Allah SWT has completed this deen. It's perfect for you, alhamdulillah, in every aspect of your life. When you take part of it and leave part of it, you're not going to feel the happiness of this gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept for us except the best. And Islam fulfills only the best things for you. You have to understand that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the knower of everything. And since He is the knower of everything, the creator of the man and the woman, and everything in existence, He surely knows what is best for the man and the woman. Isn't that correct? None of you men here has, have been women before. I haven't, certainly. Our sisters haven't been men before. So, Allah who created the man and the woman, he knows what's best for both of them because He made them. He engineered Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, made us, He created us. And obviously He knows what's best for us.